What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Device Vids, and Apple has released iOS 8.2 to the public. In this video, I wanted to just give you guys an update on what's going on right now regarding to jailbreakings. So iOS 8.2, just like 8.1.3, the previous version before it, is not able to be jailbroken as of right now. It is impossible to do. However, there is some news I'd like to show you, basically just... I want to give you an idea of what you could expect in the future in terms of jailbreaking with 8.2 and beyond. So let's go ahead and get right into that. And to start off, of course, if you're running iOS 8.1.2 or earlier, do not update to iOS 8.2 because obviously it's not able to be jailbroken. And if you want to keep your jailbreak again, do not update. And as far as the news is concerned, uh, the Taiji team, which is the team that brought us the iOS 8.1.2 and earlier jailbreak, uh, on Weibo, which is a Chinese uh, social network, they did post something that is, uh, you know, fairly interesting and does get, give us a definite hint towards the future. And it's this right here, their latest post. And obviously, it's in Chinese, so you're going to have to run Google Translate. That's what I did here. And here I will read it. So it says, "Currently able to achieve the perfect escape for the latest version of 8.1.2." They're referring to the old jailbreak, and escape means jailbreak in this context. That's just the poor Google translation. And here's the interesting part. It says, "iOS 8.1. Or sorry, iOS 8.2 uh, jailbreak is still in development." So. Uh, basically, they're saying that they're still working on it. Of course, it's not complete just yet from what I could tell. Now, I'm not really sure what that means. Obviously, they could mean they just have to do a few things, or they could mean that they have to do multiple things. And in the past, IG have sounded you know, much more confident than this, I would say. And that may have something to do with um, there being one vulnerability patched in 8.2 that wasn't patched in 8.1.3. And that is according to Ionic, who's a very popular and famous uh, security researcher. Here's a tweet that he sent out just a little bit ago, and as you can see here, he says that um, you know Apple mentions in their security update that they fixed another Taiji bug. So that 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 means that it was not patched in the 8.1.3, you know, the previous version. So that could have something to do with them not sounding quite as confident in this message. However, I mean, who knows? This could just be you know a small barrier they have to surpass, or it could be something else. We really just don't know, but. This is what we have so far, and you can take it however you want to take it, and just wanted to update you on the current situation. Of course, as soon as any type of jailbreak is released for iOS 8.2 uh, by anybody, of course, as always, I'm sure to make a tutorial for you guys showing you how to do it from beginning to end. So stay tuned for that if you want to jailbreak iOS 8.2. And if you want to know what iOS 8.2 actually brings to the table, I'll explain it. So basically, it does bring support for the Apple Watch. That's probably the most notable thing. So this is Apple's new product. As you can see, it's going to be available on April 24th, 2015. And of course, it's Apple's new smartwatch. And iOS 8.2 allows your iPhone to actually function with it. You could pair your iPhone with it and basically use an Apple Watch, you know, actually now with your device as soon as it is available, of course. And this uh, iOS 8.2 also does bring other enhancements and improvements as far as stability is concerned. So you should be experiencing an overall, you know, better experience with your device as far as bugs are concerned. And again, just your overall device's experience, you know, the, the enhancements should make it run smoother. And if you want the changelog for iOS 8.2, so basically just everything that, you know, has been changed in 8.2, I should have put it directly in the description down below so you could read it down there and figure out what iOS 8.2 actually brings to the table and that's all for this video i'll see you guys this weekend for another episode of tweak recap as always and again i'll see you guys later